during that process, did you also um, re remember speaking with investigators or prosecutors from Las Vegas? Yeah, not, none to the end. But who do you recall that kept coming up to you asking about the case that you just testified uh, about? Initially, it was a, a Fairfield homicide. Okay. Did you believe that the police in California were attempting to uh, somehow think you were involved in Miss Larson's death? Yeah, I mean, I, 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 didn't, I didn't figure out what it was really all about until uh, Las Vegas. But the whole time in California, they kind of like misled me and was making me think it was something else. I really didn't even know what I was involved in yet. Your testimony today, I just want to be clear, is you feel that you were misled by the law enforcement in California as well, correct? Yeah. Okay. You only knew Mr. Dow because was he? you knew of him from the music industry, is that what you testified to? Yeah. Okay. Do you remember, did any other agencies contact you regarding the murder of Miss Larson? Um, yeah, but I don't, I don't really know who everybody was. And when you met with law enforcement, did, you said they were kept showing you pictures. Is that what you stated? Yeah. What, what were they showing you pictures of? They showed me pictures of, of, of basically everything, like everything that was connected to uh, to, to her or to the case. Okay. Do we have time yeah. to as to which law enforcement agency he's referring to showed these pictures? I'm assuming it's Fairfield, but if it's well, not, then I you need to clarify. Idea. Thank you, Your Honor. She was trying to make it seem like it's Fairfield's fault. The Vegas don't got nothing to do with it. But that's, it doesn't matter. It's, it is a connected investigation coast to coast. All law enforcement is involved in violating the Brady. Can't just put it on Fairfield. That's what she was trying to do. But already put her foot in her mouth when she told Latif. We all know what Brady is. So if you know what Brady is, that, what you're saying right there, you trying to act like him putting it on another agency exonerate what the fuck the prosecutor and what Las Vegas homicide did in their malfeasance. No, everybody involved, everybody is held accountable or going to be held accountable. But all you motherfuckers is culprits. They conspired in a conspiracy from coast to coast. Nigga, they crossed state and county lines with shenanigans. Do you remember which agency was showing you photographs of Miss Larson? Uh, it, was, it was fair, fair for a homicide in the beginning, and then uh, it was others after that. But uh, I didn't know who who they were. Then, so that was in 2006. I showed you the video, and where you testified in 2007. So, uh, as far as the pretrial hearing, and then the trials in 2008. So, do you believe that? In approximately 2007, that's when you were at least maybe interacting with the, the Las Vegas authorities? Objection. No one's ever testified anything about Las Vegas authorities. Right. I mean, maybe you need to ask him that. So, if he has, I didn't understand okay. that. So, Mr. Mouton, you said you remember meeting with a U.S. attorney and detectives from uh, California and San Francisco in 2006. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. You, the law enforcement in California would uh, repeatedly ask you about Miss Larson. Is that and right? And is this Fairfield? Well, any California agency, or do you remember which agencies? I don't remember who, uh, who everybody were, just who the, who the first one was. Okay. Let me ask it this way. How do you remember then, what do you remember about when you started speaking to anyone in Las Vegas about anything related to Ms. Larson or Mr. Dow or anything. What do you remember about that? Uh, only thing I remember about that is uh, that's when I found out what everything was about when I got to Vegas. I didn't really know what everything was about until Vegas. When, when do you believe you found out what was going on in Vegas? Uh, I, I don't know. I can't remember the date. It was a long time, whatever, 06, 07. Okay. 
What is it that you found out about uh, what happened in Las Vegas? Oh, that it was connected to the to the to, uh, to the Fat Tone show. That's a uh, that's when they told me the the whole story or whatever. Who's they? Um, whoever. Uh, I, I really don't know who everybody was, but I don't know if they were every uh, the feds or or if they was homicide. Um, so that was uh, whoever whoever I got uh, shipped to in Las Vegas. That's who showed me the whole little situation. When he got to Las Vegas, they told him the situation. But this bitch is sitting there listening to that, and she's trying to say she was pressured by a a. a an interview that I did with Gangster Chronicles that he never even said he heard. His father said he heard it. His father is the one who said he went to him. But he just said they, but when he got to Las Vegas, they told him the story. They told him the story. And this bitch got me sitting up in here in this human warehouse vegetating because this is something that's going to bring down their whole motherfucking corrupt system everything that they've been doing is on the front motherfucking line right now but this is how she ruled against me when all this is coming she's sitting right there and let it be duly noted when he when he was testifying this bitch is texting back and forth with the fucking district attorney now we can get to the meat and potatoes